Hmm. Well, it has been a very long time since this kind of stuff has been done on the channel. So, what the heck. Hey guys, it's Darkpit here. And I'm back, finally, for another reaction video on this channel. Now, really, while I was surfing the internet, it's... I've been having a very hard time figuring out on what I should be reacting to as the first reaction video back on the channel. But then I stumbled upon this. It's a series called Terra and Xehanort. It's like some sort of Kingdom Hearts, or whatever it's called, kind of parody. I'm not that into Kingdom Hearts, but really I've been seeing how much Agent 4 and Agent Dark and all the others have been getting interested in it, so I might as well see what's the humor and all this kind of stuff. And this is going to be the entire series since every episode seems to be like at least about a minute or so. The last episode's like four minutes, so this video would be like, I don't know, ten minutes? Maybe more? Maybe less? I don't know, it really all comes down to the wire. A link to the original playlist of all the episodes, in order, will be in the description below, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. And without a further ado, I guess let's get started. In three, two, one. Okay, that's a weird intro. Tara, my boy! What troubles you? Well, Master Zaynort, uh, so that's Zaynort. It was my dream and that must be Terra. And it's gone because Eric has told me I have darkness. Darkness? Oh, Terra, there's nothing wrong with darkness. I beg to differ. Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. He is right about one thing, how oh, darkness yes, cannot master. be destroyed. <laughs> wow, that was... I don't know what's more surprising, the fact that, of how fast his emotions changed, of how fast Terra's emotions just changed there, or the fact of how he just easily went along with what Xehanort said. Oh my god, what happened to them? Are they okay? Oh my god. Star Oh, it's Star Wars. Hey, Star Wars is actually pretty good. Okay, Star Trek. That's 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 good. That's good as well. As I guess. I have no idea which one came first. So let me know in the comments which one came first: Star Wars or Star Trek. Wait, what? No, 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 Wow, really? Getting rid of Terra's TV just because he disagreed with what you like? Oh, wow, ha ha, very funny. Terra, terrible taste. Who sucks, Anort? Wow, low blow. Very low blow. <laughs> Kidnapped. Terra! what happened? Listen, Terra, my boy! This ruffian kidnapped me! What? Use the darkness to stop him! But how did he kidnap you? Aren't you a, a Keyblade Master? Uh, well, yes, but I uh, use light to trick me. Okay, I can. I see three holes in this little kidnapped oh, plot. One! Say, North's a Keyblade Master. He would know better than to get kidnapped by just some random person or dude or whatever second that person was just a standee and Terra should have been able to clearly notify that and third and foremost i can't believe Terra is that gullible enough to to believe that darkness was the only answer to stop him and fourth and foremost because i just added something how Terra just quickly shifted moods again and just went with xehanort again what is wrong with him honestly the plan. Oh, oh wow, I'm very curious on what kind of brilliant plan he would come up with. Oh, I, I see. Um, what, what is it? Oh, don't you see, Tara? It's darkness. Of course. Step one, darkness. Step two, darkness. Step three, Keyblade. And finally, step four, uh. profit. I mean, uh, balance. Oh, I. W where is the light coming to this? Uh, the light will be covered by your friends. After all, aqua inventors shine too bright, so you need to be extra dark to counter it. What? 
Okay, that, that makes sense. Are you kidding me? Are you... <laughs> the stupidity is killing me! That hurts. Seeing someone act that gullible and stupid hurts so bad. <laughs> what a crazy night. Time to go to bed. Light. Okay, this episode was called Light in the Dark or something like that. Dara, what is the meaning of this? Dara, I have taught you to embrace the darkness. Well, I am accepting the darkness, Master. What is he doing? What's this? It's my, uh, um, nightlight. Tara, how old are you? That is a good question, actually. How old are you? 20, 22? 19? You know, uh, tw 20 something, sir. You're too old for this. Unless for once, I agree with him. I don't know, like, Xehanort looks like he's in, like, his 50s, maybe 50 to 60s, and, and Tara, he looks like, he looks like, I don't know, 17-ish, 20? He's probably like 20 something. I don't know. Xehanort so was right about one thing. He's too old for that. Rising darkness. Xehanort, I will never forgive you for destroying my nightlight. You mad? Heck yeah, I am. I can't believe he's unleashing the darkness over a nightlight. I mean, hey, he's still taking Xehanort down for the wrong reasons, but meh. Now die! Wait, Tara! I know that nightlight meant a lot to you, but there's a better light right behind you! I'm not falling for that. No, I promise it's the truth! Would I lie? Yes. Yes, you would. Hmm. Oh, wow, you weren't lying. That is a lot of light. Yes, and Tara! Yeah. Indeed it is. That is that is indeed a lot of light. A favor! Wait, did he just stab himself? Yes, it did. Yes, yes it did. Oh, I mean, okay, but but Zanor, I think you need to go to the hospital. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> you. Of course he did. All right, he can transfer his heart into other people and possess them or something like that. That's... I can't believe Terra fell for that, honestly. All right, this is the last episode. The Fall of Light. Oh, boy, you need to grow up and move out of here. And I'm telling you, Xehanort, this is my property. You can't just kick me out like this. You're not even paying rent. How do you pay rent? It's your body. Oh, we're spying with your friend Aqua. Um, it's pronounced Aqua. That's what I said. No, that is not what you said. Gee, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, listen, Tara. I know. Honestly, I really kind of question how this stuff would work, because technically Xehanort is in control of the body right now, yet he's talking to Tara in the subconscious. Is that like, is that like splitting his, his con, like his concentration into into two, since he's like talking and focusing in two different places? I don't know, I never really got that. And... Yep. They took the fall. Tara, you fell for every single trap Xehanort put for you. Now we are one with the darkness. <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. Xehanort has won full control over Terra's body, or something you like may that. Think that the Wait. Of light ought to prevail and spread out and cast out the darkness. Uh. Xehanort captured and fading to light. His vessel's nowhere to be found. But there's no happy endings. Not okay, here, so not we suddenly now. go into a musical number. And woes. I mean, I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. And peace win the day, but that's not how the story goes. I mean, this is a, like, they made this song, right? Not sure if they, like, made the entire song from scratch or if this is a song parody. I just hope this doesn't get copyrighted. His last words before you, that darkness resides within me. Yes, there's no happy oh wow, even Terra and Aqua- What is- what is wrong with Ven? You might dream that just 
Oh dear. That's not how the story goes. I once loved a girl and she thought well of me. We thought we'd be happy together. But now I'm alone, as you can well see. And she's cold in her grave forever. Well, I... I feel bad for you, Yen no Sid. Happy endings, not here and not now. This tale is all sorrows and woes. You might dream that justice and peace when the day, but that's not how the story goes. Unfortunately, the world is a pair of ill-fitting belts and other dire, hideous clothes. Hideous clothes? Did he just say? I can't help but look at Ven, how he's not even singing. He's just sitting there. Some people laugh, I suppose. But to me, there's nothing but gloom and despair. That's just how the story goes. That's just how the story goes. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with Mickey? Oh. Oh, well, would you look at that? Now Ventus is whistling. I guess he's not fully out of it. Huh, that's nice. What? Well then. So that's the full series. I'll just stop it there. Well then. What I gotta say about this series, um... I'll admit it was- it was funny. It was quite amusing. I kind of didn't really like how the fact Terra was being, what a lack of words, pretty stupid, but I'm pretty sure in the actual game there was an actual reason why he fell for this. This is supposed to be the game in a nutshell, right? Too bad I'm not playing it. Whatever that will be. Well, um, that is, uh, I don't even know what to call this. That was just... I don't even know. Well, anyway, guys, that has been me reacting to the Terra and Xehanort Kingdom Hearts fan series. As I said before, link to the playlist will be in the description below, so to be sure to check it out if you haven't already, or if, you just, if you're just interested in watching it yourself. And if you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below any suggestions for other reactions that you'd want me to do. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever we do anything else on this channel. Well, this has been Dark Pit for the first time in a very long while. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later, guys.